Welcome to the next installment of the Madison Wine Exchange video blog. And this week we are extremely fortunate because we have Guillaume from Maison B Show here straight from Burgundy just to try out some of this 08 vintage, which was just released this week. Yep. So Guillaume, thank you so much for coming today. What do we have in front of us? Well, thanks for having me, first of all. Of course. So today we have the nice spectrum of a bunch of wines that are produced by the Maison Wine Bichot, Show, which is a 100% family-owned business in the heart of Burgundy. Uh, more precisely in the town of Beaune, in the northeast part of France. Today I decided to show to a feature two different wines that I think are really representing uh, one, the fingerprint of our winemaker and also the fingerprint of the overall family, but also that really underline the quality of a very challenging vintage, which is the 2008 vintage. Uh, 08 was a late vintage, which means that we had to harvest later than usual because um, the flowering started later on than usual. So we had to wait to make sure that the grapes would be ripe. Thank you. Um, that we would reach a proper level of sugar that would then tra be transformed uh, in alcohol. So to have a wine that is still quite balanced. Uh, so we're starting with Chassin Montrachet, 100% Chardonnay, because that's mainly what we work with in Burgundy. Chardonnay for the whites and Pinot Noir for the reds. Chassin Montrachet is a village. You're playing with a wine that is very, very crisp on the finish. But first of all, let's start with the nose. We have something that is definitely showing a lot of fresh white fruit aromas like pear and peaches, but also you have a hint of oak. This one spent 12 months in traditional 228 liters barrels. So it gives to the wine a nice backbone and a good volume on the meat palate. Now there's one thing that I think a lot of people haven't really jumped into so much with the knowledge of Burgundy is why after all of these years has Burgundy solely been Pinot Noir and Chardonnay with the exception of a few areas. What makes these two grapes so amazing in each of these wonderful towns? Well, you have to understand that in Burgundy, the monks back in the 1100s starting planting vines. And what they had access to was basically Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. Also other grapes like Pinot Gris back in the days, Aligoté or Gamay or other obscure grapes that they eventually stopped producing because it'd be too hard because the weather wouldn't be uh, good enough for those grapes that wouldn't be adapted to it. Mm -hmm. it. Towards the centuries, along the centuries, they discovered that Pinot Noir and Chardonnay are basically the two grapes that are very, very much at home in Burgundy because... So the greatest example of trial and error we've ever seen. Exactly, absolutely. I love it. Probably one of the oldest ones. <laughs> so here we have this Chassonia Montmarché from the 2008 Vintage. Correct. And I mean, this is, this nose is really bright. I'm also getting a somewhat flowery note to it. Absolutely. Sorry, I have to spit. Uh, but definitely something very flowery as well, very much spring flowers. If you go um, hiking in the mountains during the, during the spring, you get that same kind of flavors to it. So a wine that is crisp but enough backbone, enjoy with it with fish, shellfish, you go from oysters, clams, shrimp, all the way to fattier fish like halibut, for example, would be a very good pairing for it. Now I noticed you spit, I unfortunately, it's the weekend, I understand. so I'm swallowing <laughs> because this is really good wine. And uh, we were also extremely fortunate because due to some creative talking with Guillaume, we were able to get the pricing structure down for Burgundy, because Burgundy generally hits you a little bit higher, but Guillaume and I got a little tipsy one night and pricing got down. So, Absolutely. here we it's go. It's really hard to pay my rent now, but <laughs> <laughs> the one's extremely well priced. Yes. Well. So let's move to the red now. Let's move to Pomar. So Pomar is also a village. It's very close from the village of chassan Morachet. Now in Chassan, they mostly produce whites, so Chardonnays, mostly reds in the village of Pomar. You have a wine that is definitely, I think, showing the, the real potential of the vintage of 2008 vintage. A lot of cherry, a lot of very fresh red fruit characteristic to this wine, but at the same time, a good tannic structure. So basically something that makes your mouth feel a little dry, but not too much. Lingering on the finish, and definitely just a hint of earthiness that makes it a great pairing for any kind of meat that's slightly gamey, like duck or venison, for example. Now when I'm thinking Pinot Noir, I think of a light red cherried medium-bodied wine, but this nose is automatically telling me we're talking heavier brambly notes, more of that, that big structure, and I can only imagine what the palate's like, because I can, just off this nose, I mean, this is a young wine, this is a, a new release. This is a baby, yeah. absolutely. So it's showing a lot of potential, but it will definitely develop towards a little more uh, power and structure that it already has now. Uh, Poma, especially, is a village 
that produces wine that tend to have a little more structure than their um, neighbors, like Volnay, for example, that tend to be more feminine and more, more round. Wow. This really builds up on the finish that you kind of get a wave towards the end that really makes this wine. I mean, unfortunately, yes, it is very young. But five, six years from now, we're going to be golden. So we'll have to come back to this in five or six years and see how we're doing. I can't wait. Guillaume, thank you so much for thank coming. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Enjoy. And uh, folks, make sure you swing on by and check out these wines while we still have them around.